just in the um in the green room waiting to go on to the Jeremy Vine show. I'll show you this is Jeremy Vine. Oh Jezza. So yeah, like what I was what they were just saying then about vegan diets, like are they any healthier? Vegan fast food chains bringing out uh, burgers and vegan diets can cause deficiencies and it's just a non-argument like every diet can can, can cause deficiency any un, uh, diet that isn't well planned can cause deficiency meat eaters can be b12 deficient you know so of course you have to plan your diet well and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to plan their diet well just eat a wide variety of whole foods and make sure if you're not eating fortified food like fortified uh, plant milks and fortified cereals that you're supplementing with B12. And if you're not in a sunny area of the world, like if you're not getting daily sunlight, if you're in England and it's pitch black all the time, cl covered in clouds, you might need vitamin D3. All right, so it's, it's very easy to work these things out. And um, when you look at the standard diet, what people are eating, like no one eats as m many plants as a whole foods vegan does no one eats as many antioxidant rich plant foods as a whole food vegan does the more meat and dairy you eat you eat the more you're displacing uh healthier foods out of your diet and um like all of this deficiency stuff is just fear-mongering it's just fear-mongering it's not based on anything any you know credible science and yeah vegans are more, uh, can be deficient in certain things but meat eaters can be deficient in certain things as well like folate and fiber if you're eating processed you know, meat and dairy foods or processed foods generally. You're not going to be as healthy as if you're eating more whole plant foods. But anyway, the point is, if you can be healthy as a vegan on a whole foods plant-based diet or just, you know, maintain good health as a vegan, why are we massacring billions of animals, torturing and killing billions of animals? <laughs> That's the point. You know, if you have to well plan your diet, big deal. That doesn't justify stabbing and murdering billions of animals. <laughs> Because, ah, uh, you know, you could run into a deficiency. Like, how does that justify the environmental destruction and the torture and the suffering and the death that we cause? Like, this is another thing where people, they like to isolate one thing like deficiency. They don't like to talk about the literal massacre and torturing of innocent beings. Deficiency seems really a non-conversation when you're talking about the, the, the magnitude of the suffering we're causing. Yeah, things like B12 are so easy to get in your diet. <clears throat> And most people don't realise that a lot of the foods that they're eating contain B12 because uh, they're fortified. So if you look at your soy milk, if you look at your almond milk, if you look at your cereal, if you look at your tofu, if you look at your vegan yoghurt that you're eating, it's all fortified with B12, vitamin D. Have you ever looked at the back of those things? Uh, even cow's dairy milk, they fortify that with vitamin D. So a lot of these supplements are already introduced into our food production. Um, because they know that B12 is being sanitized out of the, the water supply. It's been sanitized out of the food system. Fruits and vegetables are being washed and sanitized and water's being chlorinated and B12 producing bacteria are being killed. So we have to supplement B12, everyone does. Um, and animals are being injected with B12 supplements. So the animals people eat, which they think, oh, it's, yeah, it's the only source of B12, like uh, this cow flesh, the, the pig flesh, chicken flesh. The chickens have been injected or, or it's been introduced into their feed the B12, you know, because you don't see chickens roaming free eating dirt. They're in a bloody shed. The pigs are in a shed. 90% of the pigs in, in the UK are in a factory farm, a factory farm pigs. So where are they going to get their B12 from, these pigs in these factories? They're not bloody eating grass. They're not that out there on the dirt. They're on a bloody sh shit-covered wooden floor inside of a big stinky shed, and they're getting fed B12 or they're getting injected B12. It's just insane. It's completely and utterly insane. Like, I would rather have a B12 supplement, eat whole food plants, than gas chamber billions of pigs and stab them in the throat to get B12 that was injected in their body anyway. <sighs> so, and anyway, whenever um, someone with an expert opinion likes to talk about deficiencies, you just point them to the massive peer-reviewed paper, position paper that the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics released and it's backed by 117 studies it's a massive review position paper and um it says that 
Well-planned vegan diets can be healthy for all stages of life cycle, infancy, pregnancy, lactating mothers, athletes, the elderly, and they say that it reduces your chances of getting certain diseases, heart disease, diabetes, obesity. Um, it also says it's better for the environment in this massive pe pe position paper. And it's not just someone wrote it, it's backed by research. <laughs> it's backed by tons of research. <laughs> You know, it's the best available evidence that they have on supporting plant-based vegan diets. So, like, if we're going to listen to someone's opinion, it has no scientific weight whatsoever. You look at the research, the best available research, and if a massive organisation like the Academy of Nutrition Dietetics, which it makes up over 100,000 creden uh, fully credentialed practitioners, if you're not going to listen to a credible source like that, and, and it's not a vegan organisation, obviously, if you're not going to listen to that and you're going to listen to someone's opinion about deficiencies, then you're just not being scientific. You're just taking someone's opinion over scientific fact, which is insane as well. And pe and the way people listen to anecdotes over research. Oh, I know someone who went vegan once and uh, they had no energy. <sighs> well, okay. What does that mean? I know someone who ate meat once who had no energy. Like, anecdotes mean nothing. Um, obviously, like, we can all use anecdotes. I mean, I could use my anecdote. I used to be obese, and now I've got the best... I've got more energy than I ever have. I feel more healthier than I ever have. But even my anecdote of, you know, me losing all this weight, being in good shape, I'm fitter than I've ever been, is still an anecdote. But when you look at the research and, you know, consistent data is showing that diets centered around whole plant foods are better for health, better for health outcomes for human beings. You see less diseases, like the, the number one killer of heart disease has only ever been proven um, to be reversed with a whole food plant-based diet.